pair, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. Of the final pair who are onto the ice here, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, 27 and 30 years old now, respectively. They're skating here to the Egyptian snake dance. The score they need to win is above 124.43. The last to go, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates of the United States. A slip there from Madison. How costly could that prove to be? They were going so well. This is a beautifully choreographed program and for the most part, very, very well performed. into the closing stages of their free dance here in Seoul. And could it be that despite an early slip, Chock and Bates are still on their way to the gold medal? Madison Chalk and Evan Bates with their Egyptian snake dance. Quite a mesmerising performance. I think uh, the dress of Madison Chalk is sure to be uh, featuring in the uh, ISU Awards, for which you can uh, vote online at isu.org for the uh, skating awards in seven different categories, but that is one, one outfit, Evan that's for Bates. sure. 
Now then, what's the score going to be? They're not, uh, I don't think, going to exceed their season's best, but other than that small slip in the very early stages, this was a, a tremendous effort. For my money, good enough for the gold to retain their crown that they won uh, 12 months ago. And they have been in such uh, good form, of course, over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. And uh, they took the American crown, the US crown, <laughs> recently. They were second uh, with silvers in uh, the International de France and the Cup of China, and second at the Grand Prix finals as well. Very creative free dance to this Middle Eastern Egyptian style. Music. some very creative, unusual positions in the lift. Just that one little slip from uh, Madison early on. But they, there we are. They recovered their poise very, very quickly. And uh, without a doubt, this was a very high-class performance. At the moment, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier are leading. And Chuck and Bates need to score above 124.43 to take the gold. Their best is nearly five points above that, so you have to think that, other than that slip, for which uh, a point is deducted, there was little else really in the programme that was obviously flawed, so there's a very good chance that they are going to defend their crown. But we shall see, it's in the hands of the judges. They certainly look confident, don't they? Coaches, of course, who <laughs> coach uh, so many in the uh, final two groups in this uh, competition. Waiting to see if uh, Gillis and Poirier can be reeled in. There are Wang and Yu waiting to see if there's any chance at all. I think they already know they're going to be fourth. Hubble and Donahue. Well, the score's not already. quite at their best today. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough for the gold. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates have retained their four continents crown here in Seoul and Korea. 213.18, and they are currently in first place. This is the ice dance, free dance, and 